Welcome back. This is our Algebra 2 Quadratic Functions Lesson 8 Shifting Parabolas by Completing the Square Home Review Part 3. Please make sure to catch Part 1 too, especially Part 1 where we go over, I guess, some of the rules you have with completing the square and, of course, going over how to change a quadratic function from standard form into vertex form. The question rate says uh, use the formula x equals negative b over 2a to find the turning points of each of the following quadratic functions. Then place the function in vertex form to verify the turning points. So here we have an axis symmetry. Really, that's x equals negative b over 2a. And so a equals 5, b equals negative 30, and c equals 55. And so here, what we're going to do is we're going to plug in, and we're going to add x is equal to negative of negative 30 over 2 times 5, which is 30 over 10. And therefore, this becomes 3. Okay, so we'll find a turning point. So we found x symmetry, the x value of the turning point, right? And so now we have our y value. y is equal to 5 times 3 squared minus 30 times 3 plus 55. So that's y is equal to, no, 9 times 5 is 45. And then 30 times 3 is 90, so 45 minus 90. 55 that's neg 45 plus 55 equals 10. So the vertex we have is going to be 3 comma 10. Okay so this is the vertex or turning point. For the vertex form we do y is equal to a times x parenthesis x minus h squared plus k. And so we're going to plug in here the a value of 5. We have that here. So y equals 5 times x minus our h value is 3 squared plus 10. So now we found the vertex is allowed us to help us find the vertex form of the original equation. P for b, a equals neg 2 b equals neg 24, and c is equal to neg 67. Our axis symmetry is x equals negative b over 2a, so negative of neg 24 over 2 times neg 2 will give us positive 24 over negative 4, which means x is equal to neg 6. Okay, so x equals negative 6, and then what happens is we're going to find the matching y value. We have y equals negative 2 times negative 6 squared minus 24 times negative 6 minus 67. Well, negative 6 times negative 6 is going to be positive 36, but if you multiply that by negative 2, it becomes a negative 72. Negative 6 times negative 24, that becomes a positive 144. So negative 72 plus 144, really 144 minus 72 is positive 72 minus 67. And that gives us a value of 5. Numbers seem so big and so strange to have the y value be a nice small number. So our vertex is negative 6, which is the axis symmetry, comma 5. And this is our vertex. We're going to use our formula here. Our a value is neg 2. So y equals negative 2, old parenthesis, x minus neg 6 squared plus k, which we simplify to y equals negative 2 times x plus 6 squared, x plus 6 parenthesis squared, um, plus 5. Actually, k is 5. Sorry, I put that k there. It should be plus 5 there. But this will be our equation. So y equals neg 2 times x plus 6 squared plus 5 is the vertex form of y equals neg 2x squared minus 24x minus 67. Okay. There you go. Number 9. Consider the quadratic function whose equation is y equals x squared plus 6x minus 40. 
determine the y-intercept of this function algebraically. Well, the y-intercept is when the y-value when x equals 0. So we're going to plug in, oops, let me use this here, y is equal to when x is 0, 0 squared, plus 6 times 0 minus 40, our y-intercept is equal to negative 40, or as a coordinate, 0, comma, negative 40. That's pretty straightforward. Write the function in its vertex form. State the coordinates of this turning point. Well, we're going to definitely use the vertex form here. We're going to find the, find the vertex. And so we'll use our axis symmetry again. x equals negative b over 2a. And so x is equal to negative of 6 over 2 times 1. x equals neg 3. That's the axis symmetry. We plug the neg 3 in for x. We get, oops, neg 3 squared. So y equals neg 3 squared plus 6 times neg 3 minus 40. So y is equal to 9 minus 18 minus 40. And it looks like in this case, 9 minus 18 is neg 9. Minus 40 equals negative 49. So we see here the vertex is going to be negative 3 comma negative 49. This is our vertex. And so the vertex form is y equals a times x minus h squared plus k. a here is 1. So we have y equals 1 times x minus neg 3 squared plus negative 49. Or as a function, we write y equals 1 times x plus 3 squared minus 49. This is the vertex form of the function. And of course, the vertex is going to be negative 3 comma negative 49. OK. We continue for part c, algebraically find the zeros of the function using the product law. So we do that, we would have, in this case, y equals 0. So we would have here, 0 is equal to x squared plus 6x minus 40. And so all the two numbers that multiply to 40 and subtract to 6, I think so. I think 10 times 4 is 40, and 10 minus 4 is 6. So we have 10 and 4. We have plus here and minus equals 0. And so we're going to solve here. x plus 10 must equal 0, which leaves us with x equal to neg 10. x minus 4 is equal to 0, so that must mean x is equal to positive 4. And so these are the zeros of our quadratic function, x squared plus 6x minus 40. Now, sketch a graph of the parabola using all relevant features found in parts A through C. Well, we found the y-intercept part A to be 0, comma, negative 40. Okay? And I believe we found our vertex to be neg 3. I believe it was negative 49. And now we found the roots to be, in this case, the zeros really become negative 10, comma, 0, and 4, comma, 0. So those are two coordinates we also know. So we're going to sketch this. We definitely need to have this pretty deep here. And in the sketch, ladies and gentlemen, keep in mind that it's possible for us to, um, for us to be able to, um, you know, not, you know, we could try drawing it well, but you know, we can sketch our points, though. So for example, 0 comma neg 40, I'll make this point here maybe neg 40. So that's one point we have here. Our next point we have is um, it's going to be neg 10, it's going to be uh, neg 10 comma 0. So neg 10 comma 0 is somewhere, I'd say, maybe we'll put over here. So we have this coordinate to be, let me put it on the other side. Move this in here. Oops. Maybe not. Okay. Because it's going to be opening up uh, upwards. So 
um, maybe it could be 0 comma neg 40. That's the coordinate here. This coordinate here we have will be, in this case, neg 10 comma 0. We also have a 4 comma 0 here, so 4 comma 0. 4 comma 0, probably that's 10, that's 5, it's 4 here. Okay. So this will be four. Oh, shucks, four. So it's a four comma zero. Uh, plot this here, and then we have neg three, neg three comma neg forty nine. So neg three comma neg forty nine. I'm almost over inside here. Neg three comma neg forty nine will be somewhere over here. here okay and this will be neg 3 comma neg 49 and so our graph will look something like this that's the sketch of my graph here where the vertex is neg 3 comma 49 our y axis is 0 comma neg 40 our roots are 0 neg 10 comma 0 and our other root is 4 comma 0 it's a sketch it's a sketch so Oh, of course, I want to make sure I have my axes here, x and y. Okay, and this is going to be y is equal to, I believe, x squared uh, plus 6x minus 40. Okay, that's the graph we have here. Let me make this full page so you can see everything. Okay, and this is a sketch. Is it perfect? No, it's not perfect, but it's a sketch based upon, let's plot the points, right? It's kind of hard to be, you know, the sketches are, of course, are not really that accurate. We're trying to be as accurate as possible, you know. We're labeling the points really does help us out, though, in this case. It gives a shape, in this case, that the vertex will be left of the x-axis, y-axis, actually. And so, yeah, we get a good shape here. All right, bye. Thanks so much for coming. Uh, Thanks for watching. I appreciate you guys uh, watching the video. And uh, if you've gotten this far, please give this video a like if you, you know, found it helpful. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you've not done so already because we're shooting, we're doing a giveaway after we hit 200 subscribers. And um, I want to make sure you guys are all into that. And also, um, and I'm looking forward to just having you guys uh, leave any questions or comments about any questions you have below. In any case, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you for, you know, learning with math with us. And just, again, I'll see you uh, next video. Please stay safe. Take care.